our attention this morning to those wildfires which continue to blaze through the Texas Panhandle. The largest alone burning more than a million acres. Two people now killed from these fires. Texas Governor Greg Abbott is set to be on scene shortly to see that damage firsthand. Also to give an update on the state of Texas's response to this damage. Our Tiffany Liu is in our newsroom this morning and Tiffany, the governor, really covering a lot of ground at the southern border yesterday. The Panhandle today, he has been very busy trying to survey that damage. Yeah, well, today will be a very very different scene for him. Governor Greg Abbott will be heading to the panhandle in less than two hours. He should be there. He will be brief, like you mentioned, and he'll be able to see the devastation out there. Now, as we've mentioned, the Smokehouse Creek fire is the largest fire in recorded state history. It spread over a million acres, which in perspective is about the size of Dallas and Tarrant counties combined. Now, I just got an update from a source who is out at the panhandle right now. He tells me today is unfortunately starting off with higher winds, which is never good in a wildfire situation. So crews right now, they are searching for any heats. They are working to extinguish them before they begin to move and spread any further. So many organizations are out there right now. Local fire departments, churches like Texas Baptist Men from here in Dallas, the Austin Disaster Relief Network. It is all hands on deck to get supplies and assistance to people who have lost their homes. Now, like you mentioned, Mark, this fire has killed two people. It's killed livestock and destroyed so many homes and properties. At this point, there is no official count on how many homes are destroyed. But this afternoon, as I mentioned, the governor is scheduled to visit. Once he is briefed, we could get a better understanding of the size of this devastation. And right now, I want to send things over to WFA's Matt Howerton. He's out in Fritch, a town right in the middle of the panhandle that is facing so much destruction. Matt expected to find a little bit more about the amount of structures damaged here from state officials later today, but local officials leading recovery efforts here fear that over 100 homes may have been lost. Their melody echoes against a difficult moment. Everybody's still in the fog. In Fritch's history. It's the least a celebration a family church could do. It's like like a blowtorch. For folks like Jerry Hera. I just happened to look behind me and the house on the, uh, on the next street over was on fire. I'm going, hmm, that ain't good. Hera is a Navy veteran without a home, his house. It, it went right through my place like it was designated to take me out. Victim to the Windy Deuce fire this week, a blaze that's just part of a complex of fires in the Panhandle, the largest in Texas, over a million acres. But some relief Thursday, sleet, snow, and cooler temps greatly helped firefighting efforts. But the unseasonably warm temps and high winds returned Friday and Saturday. Devastating. The destruction still visible at night. This home in Fritch reduced to ashes. The suburban here in the driveway burnt to a crisp. Over 100 homes look like this. Electricity has returned to most of the town here, but a boil notice remains. Hera not looking forward to the next steps he'll have to take. When there's somebody in need, they step up, just like you see in this room over here. But the company here makes this moment in history easy. The other side to this story, over a thousand cattle have been killed in these fires, potentially more, according to county officials in the area. Ranchers, they are leaning on each other to get what hay they can into the area to save what animals they can. In Fritch, I'm Matt Howerton. Thank you for that update, Matt, and you can help those Texans impacted by these fires. You see the QR code on your screen. If you scan that, a link will pop up that takes you right to a Red Cross Relief Fund spot where you can make donations, all of them helping with resources needed now and after this fire is all put out. Of course,